base, and what did it mean to you to ring that bell last week? Yeah, oh, everything. Uh, now I'm back to 100% football, and, and, and that's all I'm worrying about now, so I don't have to go back up to Gainesville for treatments or anything, so everything it means. You have the doctor in that room, right? Who, yes. Who is that doctor? So that's my, uh, my medical oncologist, Dr. Lagme. Uh, she's the one that created my treatment plan and um, all that kind of stuff, so she was the one that worked with me very closely throughout the whole process. What was the treat? I mean... What were the health caregivers like to you during this whole experience, and, and how much are, are you grateful to them? Oh, yeah, I'm incredibly grateful. They did everything from Dr. Yeomans, they're one of the team docs. He's the guy that first saw the cysts, and then Dr. Gibbs, who's the medical uh, orthopedic oncologist who diagnosed it and did the, my biopsy. Um, Dr. Lagme, my medical oncologist, and then Lawrence Staley, uh, my LPN. Um, uh, an LPN, a uh, nurse practitioner who set up all my treatments, did all the details oriented stuff, and then of course all the nurses and all the other staff were fantastic. You mentioned there was players from around the league, goalkeepers as well, that kind of reached yep. out to you. I mean, how encouraging was that to kind of get that support and to kind of push you to, yeah. to where you're now? Yeah, tons of support around the league. Uh, Tim Howard, Clint Irwin, Matt Lampson, who's also a cancer survivor. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really uh, cool when guys like that reach out to you and show you support, uh, their support. So I was, I was very grateful for it. Do you ever kind of look at yourself as somewhat of inspiration to other kids that were probably in that situation that you were in? Uh, what are some of the feedback? Um, during the whole process, not really. I never thought of myself as a the inspiration. I could see why uh, I could be one, but I never thought of myself as an inspiration. I was just doing what how taking the whole treatment process and everything how i wanted to take it which is continue to play as much as possible and not let it stop me from doing what i love to do so what was the reaction like from the team here when you when you had the chance to ring the bell and you came back into practice yeah so first practice back was friday before montreal and everyone you know came up giving me a hug when i got there and congratulations and you know everyone's smiling and happy for me so how difficult was it though at, at times when you would go through the treatment and then and then come out here um, you know, in the hot sun yeah. and, and really physically exert yourself? Uh, yes, yeah, so the hardest part for me was uh, when I'm out here, my hemoglobin, the oxygen in your blood is like ranged anywhere from like 50 to 70 percent of uh, a normal person's uh, oxygen in the blood. So it's a lot more difficult to, to physically exert yourself because obviously you have much less oxygen. So that was the most difficult part about coming out. Was there ever a time when you said, why me, or that never entered your mind? It did at the beginning a little bit, um, but I, maybe once or twice, but I just pushed those thoughts aside, and so I wouldn't say much. And now that it's over, kind of what's your soccer outlook? You know, mm -hmm. it, it seems like it's almost a reset, mm -hmm. I mean, even though you've been through it, but you know, yeah. now you're, you're all good. Yeah, yeah, so it's been six or seven months, and I'm without being able to play fully. And now I'm still waiting for my blood counts to recover, for my hemoglobin to come back. So once that comes back, then I'll feel that I'm fully fit and uh, ready to play. So, but once that happens, I'll just get back on the field and, and get out on the game field, not just the training field. That's, that's what I want to do and that's what I will do.